Theatre is here. Gosh, we've basically been touring around the country. <laughs> this is Get Happy 21. I'm Will and I'm one of the facilitators working on the Get Happy workshops here in glorious Sandwell. Um, today we've been doing some making, crafting and storytelling. This is a binoculars. You press the button and it records so you have evidence. I can put it in my head as a unicorn horn and I also got a unicorn shirt and this is for my mom. Summer and thunder! I brought in uh, ukuleles, tin whistles and Irish drums and everybody got to go have a go on each one. What else can the drum sound like? A party, a dance floor? Strum, strum, strum. We've been touring all around running these workshop sessions and the workshop sessions are ultimately inspired by the show. So all the different kind of artistic styles that are in the show in terms of like hip hop dancing, music, visual arts and also slapstick comedy, which is key. Can you lift your knees up really high and run like this? What do they do to the rest of your body? Today we've been running a workshop on physical comedy told by an idiot style. So told by an idiot style for me is full of play, full of chaos, anything goes, lots of games, lots of changes of rhythms, lots of surprising ourselves. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Today we've been exploring movement, stories all about happiness and they've also been learning kind of the narrative of hip-hop and then we use that kind of tools and everything that they learn into improvisation and then got their own moments of happiness providing these workshops for young people with SEN and neurodiverse needs to be able to experience these styles of theatre and performance, which is fantastic. We've got to present it to everybody. We're probably going to do like a wavy catwalk, aren't we? Each location we've been working with different practitioners. That's been fantastic because we've been able to share their skills and us to share the style of Toll by an Idiot with them. The massive thing about hip hop and dance is that it's all based on these elements of peace, love, unity, and having fun. And the best thing that hip hop does is that it just gives you the tools um, to be confident in yourself. You're making the movement yourself, so you do whatever you want. It can be as big as you want, or it can be as small as you want. Go! Great idea can come from anywhere and anyone, so we really tried to embrace that through the workshops. And on this hand is a very big plate of spaghetti. <laughs> itself can be so therapeutic even just singing has seen to make people so much more positive and I think have the creative freedom is just letting people let go of everything I know it makes me super happy brings me ultimate joy George is going for a swim George is packing up his towel and his trunks to go to the beach today. So uh, we're making song, aren't we? My name is Emily. 
Oh, yeah. what, yeah? The beep, 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 Okay, beep. cool, let's do it. Really, this project, I think, is far more important than anybody could ever realise for families who have additional needs and different needs. And It's really hard and almost impossible to find anywhere where the group fits in with Jacob and his friends rather than Jacob has to fit in with everybody else. And we're given time and we're made to feel safe and we can laugh and celebrate each other and I think that's one of the best things about this week that everybody could come and join in and everybody can benefit from sharing time with everybody else I think. So we just want to say a massive thank you because nobody will ever realise how important it is for us families because it is huge. <laughs> just those moments where you see pure joy in the workshop sessions and also where you see like the carers and like the support workers jumping in and playing too and I think that's what this project has been so successful at and I really love this is the fact that everybody gets in plays together and it doesn't matter how old you are or where you come from or what you do like you know we are all here playing together and I think we've achieved that. As we jump we go across our legs now, we go across, as you naturally turn the other way Spin around. So now we're going to make movement as a group, as a team, using our own stories and our own happiness. I enjoy dancing and doing her moves. Happy. I like doing new, trying new stuff as well. It made me very happy. I think it's a 10 out of 10. Into your freeze. Boom! I think what's lovely about this project is that it's open to families, so it's not just a show or workshops for young people with disabilities or learning disabilities, it's open to the whole family and I'm Told by an Idiot's work is great for everyone. That is something really wonderful about this project, that everybody can come, everybody can get involved together, not just the young people, but they can bring their families and carers as well, and everyone has a really good time. We're currently fixing, like, some way of holding her corset up. We're going to do a bubble wrap over yeah. skirt, right? Well, that's the vibe we're going that's for. That's the vibe. Can you show her head? Her the hair is come not off. done. They are having an introduction into the wonderful world of puppetry. They're creating a character that they're going to present, so they have to have ideas as... So where their puppet is from, what their puppet's name is. So our puppet is all about um, shyness expression and, and, and he's shy. quite shy. And then at the end, he opens up with all these colours. And it open and then they find a heart inside in a way. It shows a friendly and kindness as well, people. We've got the sun here in a way. Got the sun that I made, I made. It's been hilarious and bonkers. <laughs> Take this. amazing to see our young adults really get involved you know I haven't seen them laugh the way they have today for a very long time because it's just been fun and humorous and yeah it's been non-stop and they've loved every second of it I think it's been a laugh hasn't it everyone's really enjoyed themselves yeah, everyone's had a giggled. giggle yeah absolutely. bit of fun everyone's taken part which is really nice yeah so thoroughly enjoyable <laughs> Each week we've been adding in a new kind of two minutes of material into the show and the reason for that is we want it to change in each location and respond to what the participants bring. So that could be a specific dance move, it could be a new prop that's been made. Oh, I knew you'd like to clip balls! I've got a couple of ideas from stuff that... Uh, so far that I thought I'd just put to the group and see what we think. So if you're a participant, you might have come to a workshop, said an idea or created a new thing, a new move, and then you'll come on the Saturday or Sunday to see the show and you'll recognise something. So for example, in Ipswich we had one kid, he put a, created a poem, one of the lines of the poem had his dog in, Bobby Dog. So in the audience he was just ecstatic, him and his mum were ecstatic, kind of hearing that in the show. So there's that feeling of not only participating in a workshop, but participating in the creation of what's happening on the stage and what the actors are doing. I'm gonna try it there tomorrow. <laughs> Can I see your number 10 happiness? Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
in the morning I feel so shy, I feel so nervous. And at the bottom of 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 was different. Good. Fantastic, cause making new friends and it's really really good and i really loved it hi um my name Lorna and i love coming here today because it's very enjoyable and i love it so thank you absolutely amazing because normally he suffers from a lot of social anxiety and this uh, he's just naturally loading didn't even know if he was doing so much interaction with everybody naturally and in such a fun way so I'm very, really pleased. Absolutely amazing it's been for us. It's beautiful because you see the participants come along to the show and they watch it and they see their bit and something they've made on stage and something they've inspired and they love it. And that's what you do it for, I think, to be honest. That's probably one of the best moments is seeing that because then that just epitomises it all and it feels like a full circle because you've got the show, the participation and everything mulched together. <laughs>